Hi, and welcome to week 25 of U.S. history. So in the upcoming week, we're going to embark on an exploration of the dynamic and transformative era of the 1920s, beginning by discussing the effects of political scandals on Harding's presidency. So Warren G. Harding's presidency was marred by a series of political scandals, most notably the Teapot Dome scandal. These scandals rocked the nation and tarnished Harding's reputation, revealing widespread corruption and cronyism within his administration. We'll delve into the intricacies of these scandals, examining their impact on Harding's presidency, the integrity of government institutions, and public trust in elected officials. Through rigorous analysis, we'll explore the lasting repercussions of these scandals on American politics and governance. Next, we'll be moving on to explaining the role of the United States in the world during the 1920s. This is a broad subject. So the 1920s witnessed the U.S. emerging as a dominant global power, reshaping the international landscape in profound ways. We'll explore America's evolving role on the world stage, from its pivotal involvement in World War I to its effort to promote peace and stability through initiatives such as the League of Nations. Additionally, we'll analyze the economic, political, and cultural influence wielded by the U.S. during this transformative decade, as well as the challenges and opportunities it faced as a growing superpower. Third, we'll be describing how increased leisure time and technological innovations led to a widespread shared popular culture in the 1920s, so the 1920s marked a period of unprecedented technological innovation and social change, catalyzing the rise of a vibrant and interconnected popular culture. We'll, exam we'll examine how advancements such as the radio, cinema, and the automobile revolutionized American society, fostering a sense of shared experience and identity across geographic and social divides. From the emergence of jazz music to the pro proliferation of Hollywood films and mass-produced consumer goods, we'll explore how these cultural phenomena reshaped American life and influenced global trends. Moving on back into more of a political scene, we will be analyzing the changing role of women in the 1920s. So the 1920s witnessed significant advancements in women's rights and social roles catalyzed by the women's suffrage movement and the passage of the 19th Amendment. We'll analyze how these developments empowered women to challenge traditional gender norms and assert their rights in various spheres of society, including politics, the workforce, and the arts. From the rise of flappers to the pioneering achievements of figures like Amelia Earhart and Margaret Sanger, We'll explore the diverse ways in which women reshaped American society and culture during this transformative decade. Finally, we'll wrap up the week with describing how the concept of modernism in art and literature reflected post-war disillusionment. So the aftermath of World War I left a huge mark on American society, fueling a sense of disillusionment and cultural upheaval known as the lost generation. We'll explore how artists and writers responded to this existential crisis through the lens of modernism, a movement characterized by experimentation, fragmentation, and a rejection of traditional norms and values. Through analysis of works by figures such as Ernest Hemingway, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Georgia O'Keeffe, and Langston Hughes, we'll examine how modernist art and literature captured the complexities of the post-war experience and challenged conventional notions of identity, morality, and reality. So that is what we'll be exploring next week. I want to thank you for following along so far, and I look forward to seeing you all and working with you in class. Thank you.